Hi, babies. Hi, pretty girls. Hello. Hi. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi, babies. Hello. Hello, pretty girls. Babies, you've got you so big. I know. Don't. The girls have got you so big. Look at you. Look how big you are. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, you guys are so big. So I started putting vinegar, apple cider vinegar, um, fresh garlic. And what the hell was the other thing? Fresh garlic. Cay oh, cayenne pepper and apple cider vinegar in their water. Because it has inflammatory properties. And it's good if they have worms. And they say... Hi, Nelly. Hi, baby. They say... Hi, baby girl. They say that it helps if they have worms and whatnot. It's just really good for their health. I was afraid it would be too hot for them, but... What? Oh, girls. You're usually real docile and talk to me in a quiet voice. Why are you yelling at Mama? Huh? Why are you yelling at me? Anyway, it's supposed to really be good for their health, their overall well-being, their, um, the health of their lungs, because chickens can get respiratory issues, and it's just, it's just good for them. But anyway, I was afraid it'd be too hot with the cayenne, but I read that they can't taste the hotness from it, so. And they've been drinking it. So there you go. Hi, babies. They're more interested in the plastic bag that I sit on. What are you doing? Hi, baby. Oh, hi, baby. They're more interested in the plastic bag than they are the goodies that I just brought them. I will admit my hens are very freaking spoiled. I bring them treats two to three times a day, every single day. I bring them herbs and vegetables and fruit, and I cook their oatmeal by using leftover bacon grease, and it also gets rid of the bacon grease. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, sweetie. I, um... So after I cook bacon, I leave the grease in the pan, and I take a big bunch of oatmeal and throw it in the pan, throw a bunch of water in, throw some herbs, and throw some garlic and whatnot, and I boil it up until all the water's gone, then I refrigerate it so it gets more uh, solid, and I feed that, I've been feeding that to them every morning. You can see there's some right there. And throughout the day, they can go around and peckety peck peck. Hi, sweetheart. Are you with your little furry feet. Furry feet. And your puffy little butt. I just love your puffy little butts. Yeah, I just love your puffy little butts. Yes. Hi, sweetie. Ooh. You gonna eat my phone? Hi. Hi, <laughs> Lucy. Lucy, are you going to eat the phone? Lucy, you can't eat the phone. Anyway, I spoil them. There's, I had a lettuce over there they lost interest in. One of them is behind me right now trying to... I don't know if you can see her. Trying to eat my hair. Hi, who's back there eating my hair? Hi. 
You trying to eat my hair? I think that's Benicia trying to eat my hair. Well, hi, Lucy. You're such good girls. You're all such good girls. You guys are my therapy. They really are. When I'm really stressed or having a very, very severe, depressed day, if I come out here and just sit with them and watch them and talk to them, they're so freaking therapeutic. Shaniqua gobbling down big girl food. Hi, babies. Oh, I gotta put a screw right there so that that limb doesn't rock back and forth too much. Anymore. What? Is it Lucy? What? Oh, you're being so noisy today. Alright. It's cold. It's a cold day. It's a cold day, but I put a bunch of straw in here. They can scritch, scritch through it for their treats. And it, after they go out there where it's muddy, it helps to dry their feet off. And maybe it helps make make it a little warmer in here for them. I, you're trying, Opal, you're trying to eat my pants? What they like to do is they peck at my clothes until they can pull off a string. And then they eat the freaking string. They're weirdos. They're kind of like goats. They like to... They'll literally eat anything. Yeah, you'll eat anything. Yes, you will. Why do you want to eat everything? I give you guys plenty of treats. Give you guys plenty of treats. I don't fill this completely up. You can see I've threw in some par parsley flakes. I don't fill it completely up. That way it's fresher for them. I just add to it every couple days. Opal? Opal is now not the biggest chicken. I'm sorry, Opal. You used to be a beast. You used to be the biggest girl in the flock, but not anymore. Shaniqua is almost as big as her. All the black and white ones have caught up with her. And freaking Nellie. Nellie is actually taller than her. But she's not as broad in the shoulders. And where's my little, my little girl? Oh, she's... There's, no, that's... No, that's Lucy. Oh, there she is up there. That is my little, I call her Miss Purdy. Where are you going? You gonna go lay me an egg? You guys haven't laid any eggs yet. Are you fixing to go in and lay an egg for her mama? Oh, maybe she's gonna go in and lay an egg. Shh, everybody be quiet. I'll let you know the outcome. If she lays an egg, you better bet your ass I'm gonna do a video on it. Because it'll be my first egg. Woohoo! Babies, hi, hello, tell everybody hello, hi, okay, bye.